Hello everyone, Mr. Kazi here with another chemistry lesson and today we're going to talk about stoichiometry. Very important skill in chemistry. I'm going to make a few assumptions today. I'm going to assume that you know moles, that you know the Avogadro's number. I'm going to assume you know molar mass, your calculator, and how to do unit analysis. Now, if you're weak in any of these areas, are not sure about them, you can go to my YouTube channel and find lessons for most of these. In this lesson, we're going to talk about stoichiometry, finding the reactants, and finding the products. You'll need a periodic table. You'll need a polyatomic ions chart. You'll need a calculator. And you must know how to write a chemical equation, how to balance a chemical equation, and Avogadro's number and the mole. And of course, if you don't have these completely down, go to my YouTube channel and check it out. So are you ready? Let's get started. Stoichiometry is the study of the quantitative comparisons between the amounts of reactants and product. Now note that's quantitative, not qualitative. This is numbers and it's math. So we want to know how many moles or grams we're dealing with and we're going to use molar mass we're going to use mole ratio to help us determine these things and if you're not sure about molar mass or the mole ratio uh, be sure to go and check out the lessons on the YouTube channel I know it sounds like a broken record but that's where the lessons are so step one in doing a stoichiometry problem is first of all, what you need to do is write a good equation. Get your chemical equation written and balanced and then you want to take and you're going to change your grams of one substance to moles of that substance using the molar mass. And so here's an example. Then step two, you're going to take the moles of one substance and change it to the moles of the substance you're looking for and you're going to use the mole ratio for that. And of course we have another example. And then step three, you take the moles of the new substance and change it back to grams using the molar mass of that substance. And voila, you see how it's done. And if you're not sure about unit analysis, go to Mr. Kazi's uh, YouTube channel and find a lesson on unit analysis. Let's do an example. Iron reacts with oxygen to give iron three oxide. If an ordinary iron nail, assumed to be pure iron, has a mass of 1.05 grams, how many grams of iron three oxide would it produce if the nail turned completely to rust? Now the first thing you want to do is write a balanced equation. So that's what I'm going to do. There's the equation and there it is balanced. Two skills that you have to be sure you know here and that is that you know how to write the symbols and formulas for the compounds and the elements and you also need to be able to balance the equation, right? Now I'm going to write in what I know, 1.05 grams and what I'm looking for and that is I'm looking for grams of iron three oxide. First thing I'll do is I'll take the grams of iron and change it to moles of iron and I'll do that with the molar mass. I can get that right off the periodic table. Then I'm going to take moles of iron and change it to moles of iron three oxide. Now that's kind of where the magic is and I'm going to use the mole ratio for that and the mole ratio in this case is four moles of iron to two moles of iron three oxide. Then I'm going to take the moles of iron three oxide and change it to grams of iron three oxide and for that I'm going to use molar mass which is 159.7 grams per mole and that's just by adding everything up in that molecule or actually that's a formula unit. Let's go to the magic blackboard, write down our equation and begin. 1.05 grams iron, that's what I know. I'm going to change grams to moles by using molar mass. And then I'm going to jump in there and change moles to moles using the mole ratio. And there's the magic. And then I'm going to change moles to grams. And I'm going to use the molar mass of iron three oxide. Next thing we need to do is plug and chug. Take my numbers. Now I already know my units are going to be grams. That's obvious from the unit analysis above. So uh, I'm just going to plug and chug, put it in my calculator, 
and there's 1.50 grams of iron 3 oxide with three sig figs. If you have any questions, send an email to Mr. Kazi at mrkazi.com. And don't forget to check out my website and look for the PowerPoint videos and much, much more. Also, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. And on my YouTube channel, you're going to find all kinds of things there. And studies have shown that it increases your IQ. Now remember, if you have any questions or a problem you'd like me to work on for the problem of the week, just send it off to uh, Mr. Kazi at MrKazi.com. Happy eyes, everybody.